In this lecture, we are going to design the fourth slide in this PowerPoint presentation. Well, before diving into the design process, just have a mini preview. Okay, let's see how we can design this as fast as possible. Now, the first step is to format the background. So, go to design and choose format background. Now, choose gradient fill. I'm going to copy the same heading, subheading, and this line style to this new slide. Absolutely, it has got copied along with the animations. You can see it here. Let's start designing the contents. Go to Insert tab and Shapes and then choose Arrow Pentagon Block Arrow. After drawing this shape, hold Shift key to rotate it 90 degree. You can adjust this acute angle using this yellow dot. Now keep it here and remove the outline. Now go to insert shapes and take semi rounded rectangle with just the top corners rounded. You can see it here. Take it and draw it like this. Let me zoom in and remove the outline. Change the shape fill to accent one. That's it. You have completed drawing this first shape. Now select both these and press Ctrl G to group them together. Now take five more copies. Five and then the sixth one. Select all and press Ctrl Shift G to ungroup them. I grouped it just to make the process easier or faster. Now I need to change the colors. Let me change the shape fill to the dark orange and here to just orange. Similarly, gray shades here. And then comes the yellow. It's dark blue for this one. And finally comes the dark green and the green. Now we just need to copy the icons from the other PowerPoint presentation file. Well, for the last four slides, I haven't shown you from where I copied the icons. That's why I just decided to show you this PowerPoint presentation where I have got the collection of icons. So just select them. Press Ctrl C and move this one aside and press Ctrl V. We have got it. Now place these icons at the center of these shapes. You can manually do like this as I did, or you can use this align center or align middle buttons on this quick bar. But if you want to use that, then you need to group these shapes together and then select the icon, then press align center or align middle. Before that, you also need to uncheck align to slide and select align selected objects. To get this align selected objects enabled, you need to select at least two objects to get this checkbox enabled. Okay, now I'm going to align all these six shapes in ascending order that is from bottom to top. So now let me group these shapes together. Select all press ctrl G and repeat the process for all these shapes. Make sure that the rectangle you draw to select all these shapes covers all the shapes that you wish to group. Now select all of these again. Leave align to slide. Now go to Arrange, Align and Distribute Horizontally. That's it. Now hold Shift key and move them up or down as you wish. Alternatively, you can also use Distribute Vertically option under the Align option. 
Now we are going to create six text boxes. Go to insert and click text box. Then click on the slide to create one. Now I have enabled caps lock and typing the text. Let me select it. Choose Monstrat font. Also the loose spacing. And increase the text size a bit. Now let me take five more copies and rename them. Now select all these six texts. Select align selected objects, then go to arrange, align, and align left. Again, go to arrange, align, and distribute vertically. That's it. Let's change the format under drawing tools format tab to the semi transparent gray. Okay, now our job has got completed almost. The last design work is to connect these shapes to these text boxes. Go to insert shapes and take elbow double arrow and start connecting the shapes to the text. Also change or rearrange this line using the yellow dots. Now take another one and connect the next. Similarly, do the rest. Now select all these arrows and then expand shape styles to display the format shape panel and increase the width. 2.5 points is enough. Change the dash type to dots and cap type to round and begin and end arrow type. To oval arrow. This is our useful procedure, isn't it? Now let's change the color of these arrows. You can change the color under shape outline or here at the color drop down box. Both are fine. You can use any option whichever is comfortable for you. Now let me add a few lines of text or some words at the top of this shapes too. Don't customize each of these texts right after adding them because you may need to customize each of these texts every time you add them. For example, if you want to add the monstrate font style to this one, then you need to do that once then twice, then thrice, then four times, five times and sixth time. Instead just add the font or the text you want to add and then select all at last. Like I do here, see? Select them all and go to home tab. Select monstrate font and add some loose spacing. If you want you can increase the font size too. This is easy, right? So, we have successfully completed designing this slide 4. In the next lecture, let's start animating it.